If it's your first time logging into the RS3 mobile app, you might wonder, like I did, how on earth it's possible to cram RS3's massively complex interface system into a screen this small. This quick start guide will explain how the mobile app interface works so you can find all the menus and options you're familiar with from the desktop client. So, what does everything do? There's a bunch of UI elements here that can be expanded, so I'm going to start with the top right and go clockwise, covering everything with enough detail to let you know what you're looking at and where to find what you're looking for. Starting at the top right is the minimap, which groups the first three icons. The plus symbol opens and hides the minimap. The magnifying glass opens the world map, and the home teleport icon opens the lodestone network. The icons beneath the minimap are referred to as the ribbon. The bag icon is your inventory, using the classic 4x7 layout we're all familiar with. You can press and drag to move items and release them where you want them to go, including outside the inventory. Tapping uses whatever the default left-click option would be, and hold pressing displays the right-click options. This tap to left-click and hold press to right-click is universal to interacting with the rest of the game world. Dragging items also opens additional options on the left side of the inventory tab. You can release the item on the icon of a bag with an arrow to drop it from the inventory. The high alc symbol will cast that on the item if you have the runes available, and the light bulb will disassemble it for invention components. The currency pouch, price checker, wealth evaluator, and invention materials pouch are not accessed from the inventory tab at the bottom like they are on the desktop client. But don't worry, all these can be accessed from elsewhere, which we'll cover. The helmet icon opens your equipped items tab. Tapping these items will unequip them, or you can hold press for the available right-click options. This tab is where you'll find the currency pouch in the options at the bottom. The invention materials pouch can also be accessed from here by opening the tool belt, scrolling down to the invention section, and tapping on the pouch. The bar chart icon opens the skills tab, which might look oddly spaced depending on your device's screen size and ratio. Tapping the skills opens their respective skill guide, and hold pressing displays the right click options. The bottom icons can also be tapped to display tool tips. The blue book opens your spellbook tab. Tapping will cast or activate auto cast binding options depending on the spell. Spell categories are arranged vertically on mobile and tapping the header for each category collapses or expands them. Filtering by usability is especially useful on mobile due to limited interface space. Categories with no usable spells will have their headers removed to further save space. The purple book opens your prayer tab, which operates pretty much the same as the desktop client. The green book opens the abilities tab. Ability categories are arranged vertically like the spell book. The last icon on the default ribbon is the loot drop log. Rune metrics can also be accessed from here. At the bottom of the screen is the combat HUD, which includes hit points, adrenaline, prayer, and summoning. Each of these elements have the same options as they do on the desktop client. Tapping the sword and shield icon in the bottom left opens your action bars. The small bar in the center is your revolution bar, and the 14 buttons split left and right represent a secondary manual action bar. Abilities, spells, and items can be dragged on and off the buttons on this secondary bar. The Revo bar and all other action bar presets can be edited by tapping the cog icon. The left hand number is the current manual bar that you are editing here, while the right hand number is the action bar designated for revolution. The manual action bar can be changed from the HUD by tapping the number above the sword and shield icon. The Revo bar can also be changed here by simply tapping on it. The arrows just above this swap the buttons on either side of the manual action bar. This helps when one of the ribbon tabs covers the right hand side of your manual action bar. Lots of additional combat-related settings and toggles can be found by press-holding on any of the combat HUD elements here. 
including the ability to hide the HUD completely. The top left of the screen is where activity, social, and account related menus are located. The treasure map icon opens the tasks tab. The chat icon expands the chat box, which contains the different chatting channels as well as the emotes tab. Take note that chat scrolls down on mobile rather than up, which means the newest messages appear at the top. This is so that they will not be covered by the keyboard when it is opened to reply. The hamburger at the bottom opens chat settings, and this is where text size can be changed. Note that changing text size here will affect the desktop client as well. The currency icon next to this opens the marketplace. And lastly, the home icon opens the main menu where all the desktop client's ribbon menus are accessed. The circle icons on the left from top to bottom are Treasure Hunter, the Cosmetics interface, the Extras tab, and the Community tab. The Powers menu is the action bar editing interface previously accessed from the COG on the HUD. The Hero menu is the same as the desktop client, and this is where interfaces that were missing from the Inventory tab earlier can be accessed. The Adventures menu is the same as the desktop client. Settings contains many of the same options that are available on the desktop client, but excludes some such as most of the UI customizations, since they're not applicable to mobile. The UI element that can be customized is the ribbon, changing which icons appear on the right-hand side of the screen. That does it for what I'll be covering in this mobile quick start guide, and hopefully this helps you know what to expect and how to navigate when you log in for the first time. Thanks for watching.